This is problem number one on mid practice midterm number two. And the question is, um, use Hess's law to find delta H naught for the following reaction. And the reaction is CH4 plus 4 Cl2 is going to go to give me CCl4 plus 4 HCl. So I'm going to reiterate that. That CH4, which is methane, plus 4 chlorines uh, goes to give me 1 carbon tetrachloride and 4 hydrogen chlorides. And so if you're given the following information. Uh, uh, in parentheses, I have a 1 denoting the first reaction, which is carbon in, uh, in the graphite form, plus two chlorines, molecular chlorines, two Cl2s, uh, go to give carbon tetrachloride, or CCl4. And the enthalpy uh, delta H naught of that reaction is minus 139 kilojoules per mole. And reaction two is carbon, graphite, plus two hydrogens, two molecular hydrogens, or two H2s, um, goes to produce one CH4, or one methane molecule. And the enthalpy of that process, or delta H naught, uh, under the, the naught denotes standard conditions, is equal to minus 74.9 kilojoules per mole. And then the last reaction we're provided is reaction three, in parentheses, open parentheses, three, close parentheses, and the reaction is one half of an H2, one half of a hydrogen molecule, plus one half of a Cl2, or one half of a chlorine molecule, go together, go together to produce a hydrogen chloride molecule, HCl. And delta H naught for that process is minus 92.3 kilojoules per mole. So this is the given information. We're going to have to solve this particular problem with. And um, we're going to be taking advantage of the fact that the enthalpy uh, is a state function. And all state functions are path independent and additive. So that means that uh, it's going to be the same regardless of which path we go, we use to get there. So I can take this reaction directly, or I, if I can express this sum, or this reaction as a sum of these three reactions, and I know the enthalpies for those, that means that the, the, uh, whatever sum of these reactions gives rise to that reaction. The, 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 the same, whatever I did to these to make it happen, I do to the enthalpies. Well, and that will give me the corresponding enthalpy of the reaction. So the enthalpy is path independent. And so uh, I don't even have to be able to perform these reactions, but I can, I can measure these. And, uh, 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 and uh, in other words, I don't even have to perform the reaction with methane plus fluorine give the carbon tetrachloride, I can perform these three reactions to measure them, and then I know the enthalpy of that one. And, and, and this gives us great flexibility. This is Hess's law. And now, uh, the other aspect of state functions being additive means that if the enthalpy for this last reaction, one half, H, one half hydrogen plus one half chlorine to give a hydrogen chloride, um, if it's equal to, the enthalpy is equal to uh, uh, minus 92.3 kilojoules per mole, well, then if, I, if it's that much per mole, well, then for four moles, it's going to be four times that amount. It's additive. And so that additive property is going to be taken into account when we start looking at how many moles, which is four in this case, of hydrogen chloride that are produced. And so, the first thing we're going to do is close the door. Because of the sirens. And now, busy day. The first thing I want to do is 
number this reaction. I will call this reaction four. And now the, the key to, do, to, to expressing reaction four in terms of reaction one, two, and three is to look for uh, the uh, 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 reactants and the products in reaction four and look for the same reactants or products, the same materials, in the given provided reactions. And if, for example, uh, in reaction one, I have carbon tetrachloride, and it's a product. Carbon tetrachloride is indeed a product in reaction four. So, and there's one carbon tetrachloride, one carbon tetrachloride, and it's a product. And so that means that uh, uh, reaction four is going to be equal to one times reaction one plus, and now I want to look at reaction two. Um, reaction two, I have uh, one methane molecule. And uh, uh, in reaction four, I have one methane molecule. So I'm going to need the same amount here as there. However, this is a product. The methane is a product in reaction two, and it's a reactant in uh, reaction four. Well, the enthalpy, if the enthalpy for reaction two the, is minus 74.9 kilojoules per mole, as written, if I were to reverse it, then all I do is, it stays the same magnitude, 74.9 kilojoules, but I reverse the sign. It becomes negative. And so, in, in fact, when I, uh, uh, that's how I'm going to combine it and to C. So I'm going to have to minus reaction 2. I'm going to take it in the other way because I need to have the methane on the left-hand side of, of the arrow. So it has to be a reactant and not a product. That's all. So now we've made methane a reactant by, re by re changing the sign and now of, of this reaction. Now the last reaction we have, we have hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is a product in reaction three. It is a product in reaction four. But in this case of reaction three, there's only one hydrogen chloride. And as we mentioned before, I'm going to have four in the product. So that means I'm going to have to multiply, uh, ultimately, the enthalpy by four to get the corresponding enthalpy for four times reaction four. But that means I'm adding it because it's a product and multiplying it times four uh, uh, times reaction three. So I am speculating that this combination of these reactions will indeed give me the reaction four. And if this is so, then the enthalpy for reaction four is going to be equal to one times the enthalpy of reaction one. Uh, 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 so we'll put a little subscript here. One, two, and three. So it's going to be equal to one times the enthalpy of react, uh, reaction one minus the enthalpy of reaction two plus four times the enthalpy of reaction three. This is what Hess's law tells us. And so now I just have to show that indeed this is true. So I'm going to rewrite these three reactions and, uh, uh, in the order proposed. So um, one is C graphite plus two, two chlorines gives me carbon chloride, and now minus 2 is going to be methane, CH4, is going to produce C graphite plus 2H2. And now 4 times reaction 3 is uh, uh, 4 times 1 half Hydrogen is two hydrogens plus two chlorines.
chlorines, Cl2s. So two hydrogens, two H2s plus two Cl2s is going to give me four HCls. Now that I've written them out, I can add them together. And when we add a reaction, something that occurs on both sides cancels out. So it turns out I have the graphite entering in as a reactant on reaction one and emerging as a product in reaction two. So that means that cancels out. And now I've got um, uh, uh, two hydrogens entering in as a reactant in reaction three, and I have two hydrogens, two H2s, being produced as a product in reaction two. So they cancel each other out. And now we simply add together everything that remains, and all that's left is I have a CH4 plus, and I have two chlorines in reaction one and two chlorines in reaction four, three, plus four Cl2 plus four chlorines goes to give me um, four hydrochloric acids, HCLs, plus carbon tetrachloride, which is indeed reaction four. So we've now verified that this is so. You must verify it. First you project it, you speculate by looking at the reactions, what combination of the given reactions will result, give the resultant, and then you verify it. And now, therefore, delta H naught 4 is equal to uh, uh, delta H naught 1 minus delta H not 2 plus 4 times delta H not 3. And you need to write this expression out formally, and then you can all, well, you know, we, we can now, I'll just continue it here. For the given information, this is equal to minus 139 kilojoules per mole. Um, minus a minus, minus, minus 74.9 kilojoules per mole, and then plus 4 times minus 92.3 kilojoules per mole. So all we've done is whatever we did to the reactions to make them add up, we did to the enthalpies. And simply write this expression out. Now, if you do this much work, you're already done. The only last, the last thing you have to do is a simple calculation. Do that simple calculation. But if you make an arithmetic error, it's not going to be of any great consequence as long as you set everything up in this fashion. And you showed me some on the test. And so the last thing I have to do is, yeah, I'm going to own my scratch paper, 92.3 times 4, 4 is 12, 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 9 times 4 is 36, and that's 369, so it's minus 369, and that would be this minus a minus becomes a plus, so I'm going to, uh, uh, 74.9, I'm going to, you know, plus that, and I'm going to do that math over here, the 9, uh, 12 minus 9 is 3, 8 minus 4 is 4, 6 minus 7 is 9, minus 294.3, minus 294.3, plus 139, 139, I'm way over here on my scratch paper, that's a 0 0.3, not 4 and 9 is 13, uh, that is 13 again, and 2 and 2 is 4. So it's minus 433. So this is equal to minus uh, 433.3 kilojoules per mole, which is the ultimate answer. But really the trick to this simply looking for uh, 
it, what we look for is all of the things in, the, in reaction four in each of the provided reactions and noting whether they are a product or a reactant. If a product in the uh, given reaction is a product in one of the provided reactions, then it's going to be given, this, the, the, the enthalpy for that reaction is going to be the same sign. If a, uh, a, re a reactant in the given reaction, it, uh, or the reactant in the reaction in question, a, a, a reactant is a product in a, one of the given reactions, well then I have to reverse the sign of the reaction in order to make it a reactant. And if I have to reverse the sign of the reaction to make it a reactant, well then when I go to do the calculation, so I combine them together in that fashion, I'm going to reverse the sign of the enthalpy. And, uh, and so just simply looking at the reactants and products of the given react provided reactions will uh, give you the key to solving this problem. And that's it.